Well, I found a sweet little lullaby from 1920, which is appropriate for our spring is coming. The days are getting longer. And this one is called When Day's Shadows Lengthen by F.G. Lee. When day's shadows lengthen, Jesus be thou near. Pardon, comfort, strengthen, chase away my fear. Love and hope be deep and faith more strong and clear. When the night grows darkest and the stars are pale, when the foemen gather in death's misty veil, be thou sword and buckler, be thou shield and mail. Come thou food of angels, source of every grace. In thy father's mansions, give me soon a place that unveiled in splendor I may see thy face. Then be near me, Jesus, enemies shall flee. Hidden God and Savior, thou my comfort be, food and priest and victim. Let me feed on thee. So shall no fears chill me on that unknown shore. For in death he conquered and can die no more. His hand guards and guides me to the heavenly door. Blessed warfare over, endless rest alone. Tears no more, no sorrow, neither sigh nor moan, but a song of triumph round about the throne. Over that day, we look forward to spring, we look forward to Easter, we look forward to our heavenly reward with Jesus forever. It's coming, but this is Lent, and the strife's not over yet. <laughs> we endure to the end with the Lord, who comforts us in all our troubles. Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man back to dust and say, Turn back, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past, or as a watch in the night. You sweep men away. They are like a dream, like grass, which is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. For we are consumed by your anger, by your wrath we are overwhelmed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days pass under your pass away under your wrath. Our years come to an end like a sigh. The years of our life are threescore and ten, or even by reason of strength fourscore. 
Oh, I love this psalm. In another translation, our years are 70 for those who are strong, 80. So that's what the scripture says is the length of our days. And yet their span is but toil and trouble. They are soon gone and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger and your wrath according to the fear of you? So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad as many days as you have afflicted us and as many days as we have seen evil. Let your work be manifest to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of your hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Another translation says, bless the works of our hands. Bless the works of our hands. So we are to pray for God's blessings on all we do, not just for our sake, but for the sake of all who benefit from them or who could benefit from them. We are here to work. This is the vineyard. The Lord, the, the, the harvest is rich and he needs workers. And as our years are 70 or 80 for those who are, are strong, we are to spend them working in the vineyard for the Lord, not to take our rest now. So expect that we are to have toil. David says, um, these days are soon gone. Their span is toil and trouble. No, I'm not making it up. This is the word of God is spoken through David. Our lives here are toil and trouble, but they are not all that there is, right? So take heart. I have overcome the world, the Lord says. And with that, I bid you a peaceful good night. May you rest in the Lord's love. And may the Lord bless the works of our hands. Lord, please bless the works of our hands. May God bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God bless you and keep you and look on you with kindness and give you, give you his peace. Don't forget to tell your friends. May this message of the Lord go far and wide. And all these messages, these are his scriptures, his word that I'm sharing. We want all to hear and be encouraged. That's why I do this, to be encouraged. So uh, help me spread the word, if you would. And leave a comment. Tell me how this message uh, plays out in your life. That would be a blessing to me. Thank you. Good night.